I finally got me a broken old Waterman Ideal Flex nib pen. I put a new sack in it and uh, cleaned it up really well. It has a cracked cap, so I made a little band, kind of like a cigar band, jewelry ring hammered out for this pen and uh, filled it up and tried it out. Happy Valentine's. <clears throat> I really like that this pen can do really long strokes without uh, railroading. Usually the really small ones seem to like do well with uh, really small writing like this. But once you get this one inked up and Take your time. Whoops, it did it. You can get some long lines. Hmm. This only happens when you're trying to video. <laughs> well, I'll let the feed saturate a little bit there. <clears throat> the other thing I did was I took an old muffed pen from FPR, Fountain Pen Revolution, and I found out that the number two size Waterman 52 nib goes in an eyedropper pen like this. Uh, oh, it works beautifully. But I wanted to put the nib back with the pen it came in. And then I made a little uh, name band. Actually, I made the band too small. I had my calculations off, and then um, I said, whoa, I'm not going to waste that. I got a new engraver this weekend, so I engraved my initials in there and made me a little name band. And I put a Charlie nib in this one that I engraved the sides into it. And uh, it really isn't the pen I want. I'm looking for something else. But it'll do till something else comes. It spreads out and gives line variation, but it just doesn't give the spring back to a, a finer line. So there's no spring in this. Well, only when you're videoing. <laughs> so um that was pretty cool I don't really have a ring man drill small enough to do pin bands so I used metal dapping uh, stakes to uh, match the pin and this one has a, a leaf design I've got several of these this one doesn't fit as closely as I would like but I'm working on it I'm getting good at it <clears throat> and it wasn't that hard putting a new sack on here and I had a can of shellac that I got from uh, Ace Hardware of course <clears throat> so I've got pages that I experimented on with different inks And pins. These strokes. We're done with this old pen. This pen dries out a lot. It wasn't meant to be uh, done like this. I made this up. 
If you tweak it though just a little bit, get it going, it goes for the longest time. Now that is a lot of flex, but it drinks ink, so you really probably would want like an eyedropper pen, or you might as well go ahead and, and dip. <laughs> if it's going to be like that, you might as well go ahead and dip. You spend your whole time tweaking it. <laughs> there it is, playing around with my pens and my new engraver. Here's what I got for engraving. This, um, it's really meant for pet nails. And my pet didn't take off running or anything when I turned it on. He hasn't had it done to him yet. <clears throat> I take him in to get that done. But uh, here I put a time and bit on there. The reason why I choose these small battery operated ones is you've got so much more control uh, at these lower speeds. And the 4,000 Dremels, they... They won't go to these lower speeds like six, seven, seven thousand RPMs. That I think the lowest any one of them will go is um, fifteen thousand, and this one will do fifteen thousand on high. But once I get my lines etched in, I did this one when when broken one. But once you get your lines etched in. You can speed up, but when you start out on a slick piece of metal, you're just like all over the place. <laughs> and it's really annoying. So, um, yeah, I had one of these for over 20 years and the batteries finally died. Plus, I think that the motor was about to die too, because when I got this, it was like, night and day on the speeds so, yeah these batteries NICAD last for 20 years so um this is probably going to last me a couple of decades maybe <laughs> I hope so <laughs> I don't like that the battery is not easy to manipulate But later on, I'll be glad that's true because they get loose. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was my week. Thank you.